let's say um there was the, the the good kids sometimes they would they would only play good against each other because they, if they would play like a, a a gangster kid they weren't allowed to play at max yeah. at their max you can't skill. play at max you know, because they would come up with their posse and then yep. you know you had to be savvy enough you see if you're one of those cornballs living in the suburbs yeah. and you went to the nickel arcades back then i'm talking like early 90s like yeah. back back then you didn't know any better. So, you know, you would come in, do do do, play your best, and then you get fucked up. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The savvy kids, like in the bodegas, like all the kids that used to play back then, like, you know, they would try their hardest, like, you yeah. know, when their friends were around. And then when the gangsters would come in, nah, nah, nah. You got a little bit. No more combos. No more combos, yeah. No more combos. It's true, man. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more technology, nah. no more combos. I'm just saying, because like, a lot of the kids in the suburbs, like they were at Family Fun arcades back then. Like, yeah. uh, I know like, uh, I spent some summers in Oregon. I was in uh, Beaverton, actually. There was, yeah. um, there was an arcade, Nickel Arcade called Wonderland yeah. that I used to go to when I was like 10 or something. It was, it was way different than like the arcades in the inner city and stuff. You know, yeah. people were nice, friendly, respectful, white. Yep. Etc. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, I like that. <laughs> I just throw it out there. <laughs> 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 I throw it out. <laughs> and then, like in the bodega arcades, you would get better, but you gotta watch your back, son. Yeah, you like, definitely did have to watch your back. I got maced, had a gun pulled on me, yep. and all this sort of stuff. It was yep. fun, though. Like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I luckily, oh, luckily for me, I never, I never got beat up because I, I was, I was a little young, so I wasn't allowed to always be in the arcades, yeah. but. I remember one time in uh, when Tekken Tag came out, and I used to know the linkers, the link, the link throws with the King. Yeah. And I did the, the entire rolling cradle on a kid, and he got so mad that he pushed yeah. me, and he, I had a, a bubble jacket like the one that had the goose yeah. down feathers inside, <laughs> and he slashed it and, and and spread all the feathers outside. Oh shit, that's a blow. So I had I had to go home in the snow. Oh man. With no jacket. <laughs> Yo, that's definitely like a just crying a, Brian just, moment. Just a sweater. Yeah. Right? <laughs> if, you, if you cry, I would have played you. Yeah. <laughs> I would have played you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. So I got mace for uh, getting some perfects like on the Asian thugs in uh, Mortal Kombat 3. I was oh, picking wow. Cyrax and yeah. like, I was just blowing it up with 100% combos. MK 3.0, by the way. Yeah. Three, not 3.1 or like Ultimate, where like, they toned it down. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got maced for that. I um, Somebody pulled a gun on me for me giving them mercy in uh, Mortal Kombat 3. Oh, wow. Yeah. I gave him mercy and I still beat them. And then I tried to do like a uh, animality or something. And yeah. like, he wasn't feeling that, yo. He's yeah. like, yo, get the fuck out of the store. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It used to be real yeah, back then. Yeah, it used to be real. real. <laughs> It was real bad, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Street Monsters, um, are you guys enjoying the story? Should we talk about the match? I'm very sorry, because I know this is pretty far in the tournament. Yeah. Let me know, guys. <laughs> I'm sure they don't mind the story. Yeah. They, they see these matches often, so. <laughs> story, all right, story time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got to hit story mode. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so let me tell you guys, let me tell you about Playland, Javik. So, Playland was a 24-hour arcade in the heart of Times Square. Oh, wow. And this was before the gentrification era. The gentrification era, because you know how uh, you know how Times Square is all cleaned up now? Yeah, it used to be real bad it on the west to, side. Yeah, but even in the middle of the gentrification era, yeah. there was still Playland there until, like I think, like 2000, no, 90, 99, 98, yeah. something like that. But anyway, yeah, 24-hour arcade. It was legendary. Like, you know, I, I was told as a kid not to go there because Times Square was dangerous or whatever. Yeah. I finally went there like uh, when I was in uh, junior high school. I made the mistake of going there at like 9 in the morning. Yeah. I actually met Norman Burgess there. I was playing KO up 9 in the morning, and Norman Burgess at that time, he was already 18, yo. And he was there chilling with Aiko. Yeah. And the Truett Cops came in and blew me up, yo. Yeah. <laughs> at the time, I was going to Catholic school, so. I was wearing a uh, Catholic school uniform, yeah. and then of course that's an easy target. So they were like, "Yeah, come here, son." Get oh. lit up. I ran the ID, and then Norman just laughed at me, <laughs> like when I got when I got escorted out of the arcade. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Norman later went on to work at CF, right? Yeah, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> but, but yeah, Playland, Playland was pretty legendary, man. Like uh, that's like one of the last uh, few bastions of a uh, of places yeah. back in the day. I'm not, I know like a lot of the SRK guys went down to Playland back in the day. Tragic, yeah. Mr. Wizard. Like those guys, there's some history there, man. For yeah. sure, there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, Mortal Kombat location tests. Yeah. And of course, there were a lot of gangsters. People did get smashed through the Playland window for throwing people, other people. Yeah. It was pretty rough in there. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, like it wasn't all fun and games back in the day. Like, man. It, it sounds like I have nothing but bad things to say about the arcade scene, but that's not true. Like, you yeah. Know, 
when I talk about these stories, like, you know, even though it sounds fucked up at the time, like, I had a lot of fun back then in my childhood. Even yeah. though there's stories where I almost got maced or shot or whatever. Like, yeah. it was a lot of fun. Sanford taking a 3-0 over, over Zeus. Good stuff. King, Sanford. Yeah, dude, it was the best childhood ever, man. Like, it's like, you don't know how fun it was back in the day? Like, you know, when you had no idea about tournaments or anything. To, yeah. walk, like, to walk in your neighborhood and walk around, just go from, like, random bodega to random bodega and go to random arcades random and try to find store. out who's the best. Yep. And try to find yeah. out who's the best. Like, you cannot replace that now. It, yeah. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. And I, and I so is that what makes your bone strong? Is that how it works? Oh, yeah. You drink milk, man, you know. Tastes good. Good for your bones. That's cool. So battle circuit number two, now now in your pocket. You also took Apex this past weekend. Congrats on that. Be a champ in a, in a solid match. Good work to you. So uh, what?